Hi, I'm Mike Thrussell. I'm off Hollyhead, about a couple of miles out. We're over some prolific smooth hound ground, and today's been pretty good. We've had some really big fish. I've got my son, Mike Jr., with me. Mike's had a cracking 20 pound smooth hound today. We'll have a chat about that in a second. What we're here to talk about is the new Shakespeare tipster rods. There's three, three rods in the range. There's the nine foot, and ready to be introduced is an 11 foot and a 14 foot. Pretty special these rods, they've got a very very soft tip, almost a quiver like tip, but with plenty of power in the midsection and particularly in the butt. So what that gives you is an advantage of excellent bite detection, but also the power to fight big fish. And this is why it's ideal for this sort of ground where you're fishing into about 35, 40 feet of water for pretty big fish that fight exceptionally hard. What the tipsters give you is the fun of fighting the fish, but like I said, you've got the power to land the really big ones. So tell me, Mike, you had a 20 pound smooth hound today. That's a specimen smooth hound, really big fish. How did you find the tipster? It's a really good rod, it's really fun. Um, the tip is very supple, so it gives you really, really good bite detection. Um, and what I like is the fact that the butt is also quite stiff, so you've still got power to bring the fish in as well. That particular fish, um, it went very deep and it just kind of moped around. And the rod actually gave me enough lifting power to get it up quite easily. I did notice that, and that's really typical of a big smooth hound, that when you hit them quite often, the big fish, they get their head down, they really do hug the seabed. It's very difficult sometimes to actually get them up because they're very powerful. They're a shark-like fish, so there's plenty of power there, particularly in the tail. And they have this bulk behind the head, so they really can sit hard on the seabed. What's also good about the uh, tipsters is that you use them with a fixed spool reel, so you've got quite rapid retrieve. They're very, very versatile. A lot of people think these new tipster rods are purely for, for shore fishing, you know, particularly for flounder, for bass, that type of thing. But what we're finding with them is that they're much more versatile than that. And we're using them off the boats now all the time. Um, not just for the smooth hound, but for general fishing, for smaller species like um, cork wing wrasse and goldstiny wrasse and ballon wrasse. I've got a bite apparently, so I'll have to watch this. Um, but that's a prime example of how versatile these tipster rods are. That you can fish for anything with them. I've even fished over the wrecks for the big pollock with lures. They're that sensitive that sometimes when the pollock are very, very slow to take the lure, because the tip gives and gives and gives, the pollock are not quite so quick to feel you. So you actually are able to almost feed the shad into the, or lure into the mouth of the pollock. It can gain you extra fish. We'll see how this develops. Well, there you go, it shows you. Here we are, perfect timing, just as if you'd written the script talking to camera, had a bite, just let it develop, because they have been a bit finicky today. But here we are, here's the tipster in action with a smooth hound on. Quite a nice fish too, it's uh, taking line quite consistently. It's been quite a windy day today. The fish have been a little bit skittish. They're sort of plucking at the crab, which we're using for bait. They're not too sure. You'd really almost got to just gently feed it into the mouth. They're good fun these fish, they really do fight, but what's really good as well is that you can use really light tackle as we were saying, so you get maximum fun from these fish. We've got Gethin behind me ready with a net. It's not, it's action baby hole. <laughs> Just worth at this time also saying that with your um, with your reel, just have the dr the drag set fairly fine so that the fish can just take take line when it needs to. A little bit near the back. Throw him back in. There you go. Very little. There you go. Not a big fish, but just nice for the camera. It's nice to let you see how the the tipster works and that you know it really is a very effective um, rod for this type of fishing. Well there you go, it's pretty hectic action. I'm aboard my way, skipped by Gethin Owen out of Hollyhead, and it just shows you how prolific, as I mentioned, these grounds are for smooth hound. I mean, this is a relatively small fish, but as I said already today, there's been a 20 pounder and a couple of double figure fish, so there's real good quality smooth hound fishing here. And it's just a case of moving the ground as Gethin does until he finds the fish, and like I said, the sport can be really hectic. I'm gonna pop this little fella back now. And as you see, straight away, as soon as they're in the water, they're gone, no harm done. Really great fishing. I'll quickly run through the format of the Shakespeare Tipster with you. I've already mentioned the very soft tip, and as you can see, if I pull this down, you see how very much it is. Very similar to a coarse fishing quiver tip, 
we build them with a little bit more um, power in this midsection it comes in very very quickly so this midsection here has got quite a bit of stiffness but it's the butt from here on down that really stiffens quite quick and it's that that gives you the leverage point when you're fighting a big fish it really gives you the power to lift that big fish up through the water column what I also like about these rods is that with them being three piece they're very easy that's the, the actual section length from there to the tip they're very easy to stow in the car so you don't have problems with you know worrying about um, rods left in the, in the car and people can see them and steal them it's a it's a big plus for a lot of people um, very easy for transportation the other thing as well as I mentioned that you're fishing with them with uh, fixed spool reels which makes them very versatile you can also because of the extra length of the tipster you can cast them away from the boat quite easy so you can cover quite a lot of ground and for instance a lot of match fishermen are using them now if you're fishing say in the stern corner or anywhere on the boat instead of just fishing with a short seven and a half eight foot rod and that very small arc with these longer rods you're able to cast them away from the boat which massively increases the arc that you're fishing you're able to find little pockets of ground that might hold grass they might hold pollock because not all the fish mix in you know they've all got their own little preferences and that's why these rods are so good for match fishing because you can target and find a lot of different ground and therefore a lot of different species it's the way forward well it seems all of a sudden the hounds have switched on as soon as you drop a bait down they seem to be on it we just had another fish about four pounds on the other side of the boat and while we were taking pictures my rod hammered over Let's see what this is Got a bit of weight to it I'm going to get the big fish indeed it's a oops got a bit of a tangle in somewhere oh, that's another hound another small hound <coughs> got him? he's got him? a little bit of a tangle here I think there we are as I said not a big starry smooth down but still a really nice fish we're just going to get a couple of photographs and then we'll get him straight back but there you go there's a fish about seven pounds again a little bit bigger fish a lot of fun on that light gear as you can see they're really hard to hold they're very muscular very shark like I'm just going to get a couple of quick photos on the SLR and then we're going to get a get her back and then in behind you <laughs> Into another fish into another it just shows you when they're really feeding they're feeding feeding hard right there you go that was great fun gave me a little bit of sport i'm gonna pop him back now he can grow bigger fight again another day <laughs>